bus invaders, I'm Kyle from Matchbox and I'm gonna take you on this bus. Welcome to my not so humble abode on four wheels or five or six. This is an H3 Prevo and this is where I've been spending all my time on the road. I gotta say, it's one of the best buses I've had. I love all the little detail work, first of all. The detail on the ceilings, and one of the one of the really key things for me was having this kitchen. And this is kind of a new thing, because I cook a lot. My wife and I cook a lot, and it's nice to, to feel a little bit connected to home when you're cooking. This induction thing is kind of a new, a new experience for me. So what it is, is it's a magnetic pot. Put it on there, and it's kind of a nice safety feature, because when you pull it off, it automatically shuts it off because of the magnetic thing. So. As I said, I cook a lot. I kind of, my routine is, I try to have some really healthy breakfast going down. A lot of uh, yogurt. I like this, I've been into this Swedish breakfast. It's called muesli. Breakfast is, is kind of like an important thing on the road because, I, you know, a lot of times you wake up in a place where you, you might be miles from the venue or you might be at the venue. And if you're at the venue, then usually you have to wait for catering because we don't roll in until afternoon. So usually breakfast is, is already done. So that becomes something that's a routine every day. We kind of got like these four almost like condiment drawers here. You got to get your uh, Bob's Red Mill organic oats, right? My dad's a great cook. He's the one that actually turned me on to this. So we got this, right? Pour this in, right? So it starts there. Soak that a bit with a little bit of milk. So we pop a little bit of milk into it. We fork it. Just kind of fluff it a bit. We don't make it too wet. Chobani. Any, any Greek yogurt will work. Dump that in. We got this little microplane, which is actually essential in any kitchen. These things are awesome. We grate a green apple, a Bosch pear, which is sort of like a, a little on the ripe end. Brown pear gives it just sort of like a, a fruity, uh, acidic kind of base. Dump that in and then throw a little rice up there. And I prefer these. You can get a lot of different kinds, but I like these almond slivers. It just gives it a nice little toastiness to it. So you drop those on, get them kind of crackling just a little bit, not burnt. Toast them up, you dump that in, you fork it back in with the oats, and then you drop some raisins in there. Somebody got these for me. Sometimes you end up with some, some really random stuff on the road. These gigantic black raisins, which are huge. Not so much a fan, I prefer sun-made. Brown sugar is also the key because you gotta lighten the uh, zest, the, uh, the acidic vibe from the, from the fruit a bit with that. Raspberries on top, a little bit of honey on that. It's the deal. Refreshing, it's filling, but not a greasy spoon, obviously. What I do like to do before I hit the stage, I like to kind of carb up a little bit because I like to go hard out there and usually I'm wearing a suit or something, so I'm gonna sweat. I'm gonna sweat ridiculously. So there's something kind of nice and kind of calming about putting like on some jazz and kind of cooking yourself a meal before you hit the stage. It kind of relieves the jitters, makes you feel a little bit more like you're at home, which is another element of having a bus like this that's really nice. About an hour, hour and a half before I hit the stage, just a little bit of pasta that I cook myself. One of the simplest sauces in the world to make. So what this is, is these are whole peeled tomatoes. You drop them in a blender, which is back there. You just blend it enough to, to kind of break the tomatoes up just a little bit. I got chop a little bit of white onion, get those browning and some olive oil. Once they're just lightly brown and kind of translucent, you drop this in with it and you reduce that sauce. It takes about an hour and it just makes a real thick red sauce that kind of clings to the pasta. The key is the basil. Take leaves of basil, preferably large, and that's that's part of the process that gives it the real herbal sweetness is the, is the basil after the fact. So that's kind of the deal. You reduce it down, then you got to take the basil out. A little bit of Parmesan cheese, and we're good to go. Good to rock. Uh, that's, that's sort of like my normal breakfast. Get me going, get, get, get me moving. Now we move into here, and we have four bunks. Now these can be configured any way that you want. You can have up to eight, I do believe. What we've done here is gone with four because I have two daughters and my wife come out, so it's three of us. So four is a good way to configure it for me. This has kind of become a pantry where all the food, and we haven't really stocked the bus. It's only on the fourth show on this tour, so we haven't really got to the point where it's, normally this would be completely full, which it will be very soon, and this kind of just becomes a pantry. Now we can put it all up here if we want to, to open these up for my daughters and my wife. Right now we just kind of have it configured like this. We got, the, we got an acoustic guitar, we got my little NPC, which I'll show you, yoga. So what I do, I've been doing this Bikram style hot yoga. And the important thing is you have to have a tropical themed mat, because then you do yoga better, I think. 
So we drop it in here, we crank up the heat. I'll throw water on here and start boiling it because humidity is really key to sweating. With all the toxins, as you can see, that I ingest, it's important. So that's that's kind of like, that's a daily thing in the morning. Come in here, get this really hot, hit yoga for about an hour and a half. We get back here, this is the master. Super rad, got everything you need. We have a full shower, laid out really nice with tile. So they, they really did design this bus well. A lot of nice hardwoods, good storage, and you can't smell it right now, but it's awesome. The sweaty towels and whatnot tend to kind of do their thing there. I actually didn't talk about the fact that this bus slides out. And a lot of these buses now will have sliders. So the front slides, the back slides. When it comes back in, you have maybe like a foot here to kind of make your way through, which is usually littered with clothing. And my wife hates me for it. This is another uh, hanging closet. We kind of throw some shoes. As you can see, I'm not very organized. Generally, stuff just kind of lays about. This becomes the ledge of shame, littered with whatever the hell I need at any given moment. So this kind of ends up being my drawers, even though there's drawers. We got another, another hanging closet here. Blazers and the rock gear go in there with some towels and some whatnot. This is my latest toy. This is an NPC. It's a beat machine. It's become important on the road to have the ability to record the ideas that you come up with because I tend to get pretty creative out on the road. I don't know what it is about it, but it's something about the motion, something about seeing different people being in different cities every night really kind of inspires you to, to, to come up with music. But having something that is portable, small, and easy to set up is kind of the key. You can only take samples, so you can't really sing into it. It's kind of a new way of making music for me and I, whenever I get too comfortable, I want to kind of change it up and find a different way to be creative. So this, this is kind of my latest thing. I'll play a little bit of something I'm working on. There's a rapper in Nashville that I'm working on and we got a few things that work. So I just kind of, it's got a laptop, it's got software set up to it. Um, and kind of cool thing about this is, See how I'm showing you right here where the, um, when, when, a, when a certain beat comes up, so you hit these and they light up and they light up corresponding to how hard you hit them. So the, the, the light is uh, sensitive to the, the, the attack that you do. And then right here, it's all color coded again and shows you what you're hearing. So um, a lot of times I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll start a beat here it ends up in here, and then we just come out of here, drop it in. This this, this bus is, is wired with uh, five five speaker surround sound in front and back. So it's great for like checking mixes. It's great for uh, listening to your favorite records. So the, 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 the design there again was, was really set up for people like me. So that's why this bus is, is kind of been the thing. Obviously, being entertained on the road is, is pretty important because there's a lot of downtime many hours you just have to while away. So we're, we're wired up with DirecTV. My wife kind of got me into Duck Dynasty. So that, that tends to be something that pop, pops up a lot. Get the LG, obviously. The cool thing about DVR, we'll say this, being in a band for 15 years and watching technology move forward exponentially is like now you, you, know, you never have to watch anything live. What the driver will do is just record tons of stuff for me. So a lot of times it's just, it's just surfing through the DVR and finding numerous shows that have just are cataloged already on, the, already on the hard drive. A lot of stuff is just already there or we just sort of select it. We don't have Apple TV. I, here's the thing, with, with, the thing with me is I don't really watch a lot of television and I don't watch a lot of movies. I'm very much wired for, for music. There again, all these are wired for that as well. I'm kind of like an archivist, so I got a lot of music. So generally, I still use the iPod, even though I know it's kind of antiquated, because my iPhone can't hold all my music. So I might buy something and it ends up on the cloud, occasionally plug in the iPhone, but most of the time, playlists on, on the iPod tend to be the best way for me to kind of go through my music collection. Okay. You don't want to be on there, I didn't even know this happening. I'm just discovering this right now. This is how great this bus is. I didn't know we had this. It's like the, the Batmobile. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Feast your eyes, kids. If you learn guitar well enough, you have an LG screen that just pops out of your Batmobile bus.